Hey, what's up everybody? So I know we all have been in that situation where we want to grade or correct our shot, but the white balance in camera was either not set properly or not set at all. And to make things worse, there are no clean whites in the shot where we could set white balance off of. But there is a technique that uses the other known variable to set white balance off of, and that is the skin tones. More to that later. But first, if you're new to this channel, my name is Sebastian and I create weekly videos on DaVinci Resolve to ultimately get you a better understanding of how Resolve works. So if you're interested in that topic, please make sure to subscribe to not miss out on any upcoming content in the future. But for now, let's just hop into the color page. Okay guys, we are in DaVinci Resolve in the edit page right now. And as I said in the beginning of this video, nailing white balance in post when you don't have clean whites in the shot can be kind of hard. But there is a technique that makes use of the other known variable next to clean whites and that is the skin tones to set white balance off of. So let's take a look at this image right here. We got this uh, this girl in the car and as we see the shot looks kind of cool so it's more on the bluish side. And then in the next shot we got this hand pointing outside of a car and as we already see that this is a really warm scene and everything is laying more on the yellow side. So how do we fix the white balance from both of these shots? in a matter of seconds using the skin tone indicators. So now let's hover over our first clip, go into the color page. So now let's just set up everything that we can set white balance in this image. And that is using the vector scope. So let's select the vector scope in the bottom right corner. And if you don't see this vector scope yet, click on the drop down and then select vector scope. Now go to the settings right next to the vector scope drop down, click on that and then Check show two times soon and show skin tone indicator. Now then click off and once you've done that, pop out this vector scope like that. And when you pop this out for the first time, this will look something like this. So make sure that vector scope is in the top left side and then just check the single viewer and you got the vector scope right here. And this indicator right there is the flash line or the skin tone indicator and that means that the skin tones should lie right on this line so now in the next step let's go to our power windows and choose this polygon and now just select a portion of her skin keep in mind don't select her eyes or her lips because that is not the skin tone color that we're looking for Just create something like that, just a shape around her skin. And as you can see right now, this is the skin tone indicator line. And this is the color tone of her skin right now. So in the next step is that we just warm up this image. Like that. And then the next step, we just use the tint slider to get this right on this line. Let's drag in some red. Probably like that. And once we've done that, we can cool this up even more and give it a little more red, like that. And once we have this aligned perfectly, we can close the polygon power window like that. And you see we get pretty good white balance and pretty good skin tones. Now that this is still a little bit flat, so let's put in some contrast and some saturation. Now this looks so so good right now and this was only done in a matter of seconds. So when I bypass this grade right now and we see the before and after, this is a huge difference. So this is the before and this right now is the after. And that is done in a matter of seconds by using the vector scope. And to show you that this actually works, let's hop into the next clip. See what we got here. This is a lot more warmer than the image before. So let's just do the exact same thing. Pop out this vector scope. Choose the polygon power window and just select a portion of his skin tones like that. Looking pretty good right now. How do we fix this right now? So we can see that this is more on the yellowish side. And if we want to fix that, we got to add some red. So let's pull in some red so that this is coming way closer to this line now let's cool this down just a little bit
we can cool this down even more. So right now this is playing pretty much perfectly on this line. So all we gotta do now is click off of this power window. Boom. And you see we got pretty good skin tones and the background is more neutral. So let's close this vector scope and then show you the before and the after. This is before and this is after. That's a huge difference. If you do it for the first time, this can be a little bit harder to nail. Once you've done it a few times and you get the hang of it, this will save you so much time in creating white balance or in setting white balance in post. So yeah, that is the technique that I use every single time when I have to set white balance manually in post. That's just how simple it is. And if you know how to do it, and if you know how to use your vector scope, this saves you so much time and this gets you perfect white balance almost every single time. So yeah, guys, that is how you set the white balance in post without having clean whites in the shot. So guys, that is all for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even learned something new, which would absolutely be great. If so, please consider to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to not miss out on any upcoming content in the future. But for now, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.